Man, we got the old Sears and Roebuck stove cooking today. Actually got me a little scared. The pipe got red and I uh, went outside and checked the wall to make sure the pipe that's going up the outside is not making the wall too hot. But uh, Breezy, there's nowhere to sit. I, get, I laid my jacket down there for you to sit on. Now go lay down on my jacket. Anyway, uh, sure feels warm in here. That's not what this video is about. Uh, and I'm not even doing a repair video. I'm just doing a recycling video. On the way home from Texas last night, my wife and I passed by one of our neighbor's house. And usually my wife just is embarrassed and doesn't want me to do it during the daylight. But it was dark enough where she didn't care too much that I pulled over and pulled this out of their uh, trash out on the edge of the road. And all that was wrong with it was, uh, this is a chair, a director's chair, by the way. It's a fold-up director's chair. And uh, this had pulled out of here. Was well, Let me show you the other side. This had pulled out of, of this piece of wood here. And uh, this was loose, and this was loose, but on this side. So I took everything apart, put some <coughs> Elmer's uh, wood glue in it. I'm holding it together with clamps. And I'll give it about, oh, five or six hours to dry hard. And then I'll, I'll knock on that with a hammer. And if it comes apart, I'll fix it. If it doesn't come apart, I'll just leave it. And I uh, just wanted to show you that one man's garbage is another man's treasure. Uh, I actually got this for a friend of mine, Sue. She's uh, my friend Dwayne's wife. Dwayne is the guy that builds all them banks and cutting boards and stuff. And uh, they go to craft shows a lot, and she has a hard time finding a chair she can sit in comfortably. Let's just say she's a little on the short side. She's she's uh, vertically challenged. So uh, uh, I want to get this fixed. I'm going to give it to her, but I'm going to tell her I got it at uh, a real fancy boutique called Chez de Garbage. Alrighty. Uh, oh, and i got to have my wife sew, sew a little bit on the... The little piece of cloth that goes between the two uprights it looks like it shrunk over time and uh, I think trying to put it on is what bent this or snapped it out of its uh, hole so I just had my wife add a little bit to it and it'll be good as new so uh, perfectly good chair somebody threw out all it needed was just a few minutes of repair this is a throwaway society and uh, if you know how to fix things, I mean, you don't even got to be smart and have a lot of tools. You just got to have a little bit of, I guess, desire to save things from the garbage dump. You know, there's a lot of things that go to the dump that could be fixed. Just about all those weed eaters, except for the steel and the Ryobi, have come from the dump. Actually, I got rid of one the other day that somebody gave me because they couldn't crank. And they were fixing to throw it out. <sighs> Recycle. Replace, repair, rebuild, repurpose. Okay, enough preaching. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. I love this little dog. I even took my jacket off so he'd have a nice warm place to lay on. Next to the fire. What a good day. Little things like this sure do make you love life. Had two good cups of coffee this morning. Now I'm sitting by a roaring fire with my shadow laying on my jacket. And we're all just chilling out here in the shop having a good day. You have a good day too. Okay, we, we won't tell Sue that in order to accommodate her, her verticalness, uh, I cut two inches off the legs. I do believe she can touch the ground with a chair this height. And when she comes over, she has one special chair she shit <laughs> she sits in. <laughs> Boy, that could have been a bad one. <laughs> she has one chair that she sits in when she comes over because it's the only chair that her feet actually touch the ground. I'm sorry, Sue. I'm not, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. So uh, this is for you. Now I got to... Drill some uh, half inch holes in the bottom here and put the uh, nylon uh, leg doohickeys back on the bottom here. So 
Oh, and uh, this this held solid as a rock. And the other one uh, is, is does not need to be repaired, but it doesn't fold up far enough. So what I'm going to do with it is sand on this edge a little bit more, so it'll uh, come up more of, of an angle. And that's the one on this side. I've already taken it off. And that's all. Good as new. My wife doesn't even need to sew on the back now because this is going to fit just perfect. Almost done. Okay, I got my chair all together now. Got the back on. I should have showed you this, but uh, yeah, maybe I can. No, I sanded it up under here on that edge. So this side will stand up straight. And now the back fits just perfect. I didn't need to sew it. I got the little nylon feet back on it. And I polished this up with my special polishing lit. My special polishing liquid and uh, looks all shiny and good now. And now I'm going to give it the fat guy test. This chair has a 200 pound weight limit. And let's just say I exceed the weight limit by a little bit. Oh, this is a very comfortable chair. And uh, I think it's going to be just the perfect height. Alrighty. Breezy, you want to get up in there and give it a test? You look a mess. Your jacket's all messed up. Alrighty. Chair done. That is a perfectly good recycled chair. And I got a feeling Sue's going to like that. It's very comfortable. Thanks for watching.